Welcome to another episode of Maiden Academy Extras. I'm Charlie. This is going to be talking about where to write your CSS in 90 seconds. So there are three places to write your CSS. First one being inline. So we've got our div here. And what we want to do is we want to give the, uh, the HTML tag a style attribute and throw some CSS at it. So I've got a box with a background color of blue. So I save that, jump over here, refresh. We've got a box and it's blue. That's good news, it's working. So next up, you could do it in another place within your HTML, and that's inside the head. So this is normally for titles and metadata, but you can throw CSS styles in there as well. So uh, this one has a background color of red. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the inline style, uh, and I'll tell you shortly why. Uh, save that, jump over here. Yep, box turns red. And the final place you can do it is actually inside the head, but with an external style sheet. So what you're doing here is linking to a different uh, style sheet where you've written your CSS. So I've got uh, styles.css, and that's saved. If I look over here, this has uh, got exactly the same CSS decorations, but it's got a green color. So refresh that there, green. Brilliant. So what should you, uh, what should you be doing? Uh, you, well, you should always do it external if you can. Uh, if you're doing it in line, you're messing with the precedence, so it means that you can't override your CSS styles as easily as possible. Uh, if you do it in a head, you can do it that way, but it will uh, make your code really long and unreadable. So try and go external wherever you can. Cool. Thanks very much.